Welcome back to the Python tutorial by Focusus. In this version, we are gonna learn about basic Python operators and commands. So now, go to the search option and type ideally. So Python comes with an interpreter that allows you to test a portion of your program without having to write an actual program. So now let's get started. So in order to print something, we use print command in Python. So let us type print hello world by using quotation. We use quotation for strings or text values. You can see that the interpreter returns hello world. But we do not use quotation for numbers or integer values. For example, when we type print 2, you can see that it displays 2. But when we type print hello world without using quotation, then we see that the interpreter returns error. So this is the basic difference between integers and string. Integer represents numbers where strings represent text value. So now talking about operators. Operators are used to perform operations or calculations in Python. There are three types of operators in Python, but in this section, we are gonna learn about only arithmetic operators. We will learn about the remaining operators in the upcoming section. So arithmetic operators include addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and other numerical calculations. So when we look at the uses of the operators, we see that the plus sign is used to add two operands. Minus sign is used to subtract right operand from the left. Multiplication sign is used to multiply two operands. Slash or division is used to divide left operand from the right one. And percentage, also called modulo division, displays remainder of the division. So when we go to the interpreter and type 1 plus 2, it displays 3. This is an example of addition. When we type 2 minus 1, it displays 1. This is an example of subtraction. When you type pow into 2, it displays 8. This is an example of multiplication. When we type 5 slash 2, it displays 2.5. Because when we divide 5 by 2, the answer is 2.5. And when we type 5 percentage 2, we get 1. Because when you divide 5 by 2, the remainder is always 1. So now we're gonna write a program to ask the user to type two numbers and we're gonna print it sum. So we use input command to ask the user to type anything. For that, go to the file option and click on new file. As I have said before, we use input command to ask the user to type anything and we use a variable to store the data inputted in it. So now we're gonna type a is equal to int input quotation into a number so we type int to store the imported data as an integer otherwise the data gets stored as an string or text values we can also use float instead of int which displays the numbers having decimal value so now we're gonna type b is equal to int input into another number So to print it sum, we're gonna type print bracket a plus b and bracket close. We have to save the file now. Go to the file option and click on save. We can give it any name. I have given it 12. Click on save option. So now we have to run the program. And the program is run in the interpreter as shown there. So now go to the run option and click on run mode. Oops, we got an error. So the error is that we forgot to close the quotation in the first line of the code. So now we have finally debugged the code. So now we're gonna go to the run option and click on run mode. We click OK. So we have to enter a number. We can enter any number, so let us say 5. We have to enter another number, let us say 7. So we get to the we get 12 because when we add 5 and 7, the answer is always 12. So goodbye everybody, see you in the next one.